Howdy, and welcome to my breakfast tea and bourbon inspiration number two video, wordplay. Uh, I've heard this term wordplay used quite a bit. I'm never quite sure what it means. Maybe I'm still not quite sure what it means, but the one thing my research led me to is there's a type of crossword puzzle called a cryptic crossword. These type are similar to, and I'll call them American style crosswords, where you know there's a clue and you got to figure it out. You got to put it, put it in the box. Uh, there's a couple of key differences, though. I'd say the American style crossword puzzles, they are more about general knowledge and sort of less about puzzling or figuring things out. And to me, it looks like cryptic crosswords are more about puzzling and, you know, synonyms and trying to take this word or these clues and twisting them around and thinking outside the box. So cryptic crosswords, so they, they the structure is similar where the one kind of difference is there's kind of a lot of empty space. It's not about filling in the grid. But still, you've got clues, you've got the number of letters per clue. Uh, there's a lot of these cryptic crosswords that are online. This is just one example I pulled up. And uh, and also to show that I'm not necessarily the expert in wordplay. <laughs> uh, I'm an engineer that does bridge inspections. I'm more of a numbers guy than a words guy. But I found it interesting, and I have a feeling that whatever the solution to the riddle is, it's probably, or I have a, an idea that this might be it because it's got some certain type of indicator words, which I'll go in through later, but. So back to cryptic crosswords. So it's a similar structure as the American style, but there's certain techniques, certain ways of clues are presented that to, instead of just general knowledge, I, I've, I've gone all this before, but it's kind of interesting, and a lot of the research I did for wordplay, it kept leading me to these cryptic crosswords, and they're kind of interesting. This is one I, on my last uh, flight, I printed it out, and I tried to work on it. After 20 minutes, I got one, two, three, four, four of them done, and then I was looking at the answers, and some of the answers I still don't quite understand. It's it's uh, certain techniques, I guess you you got to sort of learn how they do them, but I'm not going to go through all about cryptic crosswords, but um, I'd like uh, I'd like you to let me know if you've done cryptic crosswords and you're you're familiar with them. And some I, I bet maybe I'll I'll get more into these and I can be more um, just get better at them. Uh, but let me know if you've done cryptic crosswords and and are familiar with wordplay. So why is this something that we could be we could use? Well, for the riddle. There, uh, Paul in the Calazar's Grand Adventure Facebook group, uh, he posted something that uses one of the techniques. And one of the techniques was, let's call it hidden answers, where there's a word that's hidden within other words. And what he found, and here we are trying to find a location, where am I? And he found one area 51, where area 51 is included in a realized, where it's area, and then the Roman numerals, uh, 51, which is interesting. I, I thought that was pretty interesting. I'm not sure if that's the right answer, but this is the type of wordplay things that we're working on. So that's that's one of the kind one of the kinds of um, methods of figuring out these cryptic crosswords and a type of wordplay. So let's see, hidden answers. So here's an example. I don't, this is, um, there's a lot of explanations on how to do cryptic crosswords. I'm going to put, I'm going to put this one in the, uh, in the description box below as an, as the one I'm going through, going through specifically. And to get, if you're in, need the introduction to this British style cryptic crosswords, I, I found this one was pretty interesting. And I'm going to go through not every single method of doing cryptic crosswords, but a couple of interesting ones that uh, may have an application for our 
riddle. So hidden answers, just like the, the Area 51, uh, sometimes the, head, the hidden is inside a larger word or phrase. And here they have an example. Uh, if they have a apple a day, well, then you can have the answer being plead, P-L-E-A-D. Here it is com contained within three different words. Hid so hidden answers, that's one of the methods of um, figuring out cryptic crosswords. Another one that you might be familiar with and is an anagram. Anagram is where you take the, the clue and you scramble the letters and you, you form another word or multiple words based on those letters. Um, here for this anagram clue, they have Wild West Food with four letters and wild is an indicator word to let you know that this is an anagram and so you're supposed to anagram west and you get stew um, for the breakfast tea and bourbon book treasure hunt and in our november clue uh, we have nelson ware and uh, mike over at calazar shout out mike uh, he broke out the Scrabble letters to show how anagrams work. Um, so, and someone figured that out a long time ago for the book treasure hunt. Nelson Ware is an anagram for New Orleans. Uh, that mayor, which is, uh, it was important for the book treasure hunt, which is where the characters started their voyage. Um, and it's listed in our November clue. It's our narrator for the for the book. So Nelson Ware, uh, and for anagrams in general, uh, there's a lot of websites out there. This is one I use. Uh, I will also I'll put this one also into the description box below. But there's a lot of websites out there that do anagrams. So if you want to use Scrabble letters, you can go ahead and use Scrabble letters if you want. Uh, but you know it's 2018. We got an app for that or a website for that. So I put in Nelson Ware into this anagram search and it will show as, you know, a whole bunch of different common words. And one of them it gets is New Orleans. It, in addition, this, uh, this particular anagram search, you can take it and you can put in an individual word and it can say, all right, you're trying to find some words, but you want to include, let's say news. And so instead of New Orleans, you want to just take news out and then you know, anagram for me the remainder. And so then it'll give you news loner. Okay. Just a, an example where I, I think this is kind of a nice, quick and easy way of doing anagramming than uh, taking out the Scrabble letters. But you can go ahead and do Scrabble letters too if, you're, if you really, really want to. So what's another type of method of solving cryptic crosswords, and another another method of wordplay. Well, down here they got one called containers. Uh, if the answer breaks into convenient parts, not side by side, but one with the, the other, the clue may say that one part contains or some other type of, some other type of indicator word containing the other. Uh, doesn't seem we have container indicator words in this, but in my sort of hunt for anything wordplay related, one thing I liked, and this is our, our fifth word, realized. If you take realized out, realized, and let's make them all capital letters. Come on. <laughs> realized. So it, there's a, a word contained in a word, and I was trying some different things in some different places, trying to find containers. I was like, oh, containers, that's kind of interesting. Well, there's an alcoholic drink called Alize, uh, and it's contained in red, when red is sort of a kind of important in our riddle. So let me make it a different color. Boom. 
So Alize inside red. I, I keep saying Alize. Let me tell you, what's, what's Alize? Alize is a type of alcoholic drink. Uh, looks like it's made out of some out of cognac, some out of vodka based, and maybe mixed with juice or some other things. It's some type of some type of alcoholic drink. Um, interesting because we're dealing with bourbon as the you know the prize at the end. Uh, bourbon red is in the riddle. And even looking at this, it's like, oh, okay, where it was introduced in some wine and spirits wholesale convention in New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh, goodness. I don't know. There's a, there's all kinds of rabbit holes you can go down. Um, but so a container, Alize inside red. So then you, you take Alize, it's like maybe there's uh, a cocktail or something. And even I did this with bourbon too. Is there a, you, you break open the the bartender handbook online and you're looking up, oh, is there any cocktails that's made with bourbon that has like red or crimson or fire or something? In it? Maybe that's, maybe that's the way you do that. Or maybe there's a, a drink with Alize that's important. Um, who knows? I'm just trying to find anything that works. Okay. So what's another one? Another one is called charades so here a clue may break into two or more convenient parts and define them se sequentially as in the game of charades so if you're trying to have where the answer will be farming you can break that down into two words far as in remote and ming as the chinese dynasty so then you can make the for this cryptic crossword clue you could make it agriculture in remote chinese destiny chinese dynasty with seven letters and so the um indicator i guess would be in in this case and so you take far and ming and then you combine them together farming the reason i bring this up is because in it doesn't have the indicator word here they don't have a list of them here, but one of the indicator words is with. So it could be there's a word that you got to take one part and then you got to combine it with another part with the indicator being with somehow. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it's possible, but I think having with in there could be an indicator word in this charade style um, method for cryptic crosswords. For my last one, and this is where I kind of liked this, whatever this Atlantic Online is, it's this number eight down here called Heads, Tails, Hearts, Bits, and Pieces. And I saw that as like, oh my goodness, we got a head, we got a butt. Let's Let's look at this one. So in describing a charade or container, a clue may refer to single letters or small bunches of letters and may do this with ingenious, though literal, indications. So you might have head of state in the clue, and you're supposed to take head of state, meaning the beginning of the word state, and you take S. And there could be another example is donkey's tail, where you're supposed to take the last letter of donkey and that's a y they've also kind the kind where it's like inside um, but we're we're focused on this head and butt we're all about heads and butts so what could we do using this as our wordplay in figuring it out. Well, you can take pointy. We can take feathers. And what can we what can we do with this? So I fly like a realized bourbon ride with a pointy head and feathers on my butt. Well, a pointy head and feathers on my butt. So we've got the first letter, we could do P, 
last letter we could do s ps could that mean peas <laughs> or maybe as it's looks like it kind of looks like peace or p e a c e maybe pointy feathers maybe it's supposed to be one word uh, one thing i've been able to to do is i could be able to take pointy feathers and it could be pointers pointers like an arrow maybe uh, there's also a type feathers you look up feathers and there are feathers called pointers that you can buy online if you want i, I, I don't know so that could be a possibility do 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 pointy feathers what else could we do with this pointy head and feathers on my butt well we could take i fly that could be let's say pilot i fly realize bourbon right well that gets kind of mixed up but then you add with a pointy head so how about we just take point part of pointy and feathers on my butt what if we were kept the s at the end and what if we made it t e x a mm, maybe pilot point texas boop pilot point texas who knows but um it, this is uh that's that's wordplay there's all kinds of different things and um you know check out Check this out. Get learn about um, cryptic crosswords if you haven't done them before. You know, learn a little bit of wordplay. Um, maybe this will help in other riddles and treasure hunts in the future. And that's it. We are not now that strength which in old days moved earth and heaven. That which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic might, made weak by time and fate, but strong in will. To strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. Sometimes denial leads to disappointment. And sometimes denial is just a river in Africa. Have a good one.